Hey world changers, Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's Fast Math Assessment. Each week we will practice a specific question type. Now these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more help with math when it comes to third, fourth, and fifth grade math, at the end of this video, I will point you in the right direction for tons of videos that can help make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for you. The question type that we will be focusing on this week is drum roll. Equation editor. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach you. All right, third grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you're ready, press play and come back and check your work. All right, let's go over this one. So it says, Abigail draws a rectangle on her paper. Using a ruler, she draws a length of nine inches and a width of four inches. What is the area of Abigail's rectangle in square inches? And we'll have to put that area right down there in the equation editor tool. So we have a model right here with the length being nine inches and the width being four inches. And we should also know that we can use the formula to find the area. The formula is the area equals the length times the width. So let's go ahead and plug in what we know. We're trying to find the area, so we'll keep the variable A. We know the length is how many inches? Nine, so we'll plug that in for the L, length, times a width, do we know what the width is? We do, it's four inches. So now if we multiply, nine inches times four inches, we can figure out that our area equals 36 square inches, 36 square inches. So that is the value that I need to put into the equation editor. But in this case, I don't have to include the square and the inches because it's already been accounted for in the question here. And there is no way to input that into our equation editor. So what I would do is, tap the three and tap the six. And when I do that, that answer should come up right here as 36. And we know it represents 36 square inches. All right, go ahead and pause the video, jot down any notes that you still need to make. And when you're ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good, it's the one thing we do that makes us good. If you wanna get better, stronger, or more confident with something, you've got to be intentional about your practice. And while you're practicing, make sure that you throw down your very best effort that you can give each and every time. I believe in you, but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourself. And with that, I'll see you next time, world changers. Bye.